Vanilla is America's favorite flavor of ice cream. And today, Jack's gonna tell us which brand is the cream of the crop. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'll say. <laughs> We're not eating ice cream cones, just in case you're wondering. But I wanted to demonstrate one of the biggest differences that nobody thinks about, which is the amount of air that gets pumped into ice cream. It's called overrun. Mm -hmm. So these are the exact same amount of ice cream by weight. Really? One of them, this one, has a lot of air. This one is dense and creamy, does not have a lot of overrun. I'm not gonna make a mess, I'm gonna put <laughs> these down. But overrun can add about 20% air up to 120%. Boy, that can affect the mouthfeel. Also how it freezes, whether it's really hard, mm -hmm. um, whether it's soft and creamy, whether it's dense and rich, light and fluffy. I'm gonna dig right in. Dig in. <laughs> I brought three brands here. They're interesting samples. We started with 17, look at this lineup over here. Couple things we learned, whether it's French, original, homemade, those don't really mean much. If it has specks of vanilla bean, mm -hmm. it probably has less vanilla flavor. Those are ground up beans that they've already used to make extract. But they look uh, pretty. They look pretty. Actually, if you want real vanilla flavor, which our tasters did, you want to use either pure or imitation extract rather than the ground up beans. Pure has a little bit of booziness to mm -hmm. it because pure extract is made with 35% alcohol. Big differences here in sugar levels. Sugar, as you know, has a big impact on texture. If there's less sugar, it's going to probably not be as creamy and maybe a little on the icy side. Mm -hmm. Big differences in fat. And I like high fat and high sugar ice cream. <laughs> so that, that's my favorite. Anything you're noticing here? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've, you've been mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because you're eating vanilla ice cream. This is a wonderful tasting, by the way. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun just eating this. This is my least favorite by far. You said icy, it's icy. I see the specks, but some of the specks are a little big and I actually feel like I felt one on my tongue. It was almost like a little pebble. So this is my least favorite. Okay. I liked both of these. I don't like the color of this one, but if I close my eyes, I like the creaminess, but I think I actually prefer this one. This one's very good. Something about this one, I like how it feels. It feels fatty. I like seeing the specks. I'm a sucker for a good speck. Ah. Uh, and it's sweet, but I like sweet, so. Mm. You made your decision. Mm -hmm. We're going with the middle sample. This is my favorite. This is really good though, and that I don't like it at all. The two of us agree. Oh, we do. And the audience agrees, ah. and we disagree with the tasting panel. Really? So we're all going to go off oh, together. Oh, we're rebels. <laughs> we're, we're rebels. <laughs> we all picked the runner-up, which, as far as I'm concerned, is the best sample here. Take it over, Ben ah. and Jerry's. Oh, congratulations it's good. to yeah. the audience. Mm -hmm. So this one has less air, so there's low overrun. It's really dense, mm -hmm. it's really creamy, it's super rich, it's absolutely delicious. Yep. The tasting panel actually preferred the expert panel, huh. the Turkey Hill. So the Turkey Hill is a much higher overrun, so it's got a lot more air. Some people in the tasting panel said, well, I can eat more of it. <laughs> That's, that's one theory. Uh, that, that's one theory. <laughs> that one has some corn syrup in it, which mm -hmm. gives it a nice um, sort of gooey texture, even yes. though it's got a lot of air, it's not uh, super fluffy. Yeah, it's um, almost a bit chewy. Yeah, a little chewy, and that's probably from the corn syrup. So that was the winner. The studio audience, that was a close runner up for the studio audience, although they agreed with me and with you, they actually liked yeah. the Ben and Jerry's. That's good. So down here at the end, so this one, Halo Top's been getting a lot of press. They actually put the calories on the package. It's only 280 calories Ooh. per pint. The idea is that- You're not gonna eat it all because it doesn't taste very good? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think the idea is it's only 280 calories so you could eat the whole thing, but it was the only brand we didn't recommend of everything we tasted because we felt like it was really icy. It has, mm -hmm. It's not so much that it's low fat, it's low sugar. Oh. Uh, so it has stevia to make up for that, but it, the sugar content is so low that it's very icy. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want, a low-fat ice cream, and I don't know, do we want a low-fat ice cream? Hmm. We did find one brand, it's Edie's Slow Churned, it's called Dryers on the West Coast, that we actually thought was as good as the full-fat brands. Wow. So rather than the Halo Top, which is getting all the press, if you really want low-fat, go for Edie's Slow Churned, but honestly, I don't really want low-fat ice cream. I'm with you. Thanks, Jack. You're welcome, Julia. <laughs> so there you have it. If you want to agree with me, Jack, and the studio audience, you want to buy Ben & Jerry's vanilla ice cream. But the winner of the tasting is Turkey Hill Original Vanilla Premium Ice Cream, which is $2.99 for one and a half quarts. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi.
Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>